up with the audio again. I'll be like, all right, all right. So at least we're getting it out, out of the way now. But we are hoping that uh, you are all excited uh, for this set, as excited as we are, because this is, as you mentioned, the run back. And there is sure to be a lot of tension, a lot of context behind this set. But all that matters right now is game one, PS2. Already playing the, uh, yep, spin around. Ooh, actually, I like that move. Never mind. It's actually going to get him in trouble. Yep. Just playing with Ego. All right. So now we're getting to this game one right here. Loser semifinals here. Patrick 2024. The run back. Zamba versus Rad. They had a banger five game set earlier today. Now it's time for Zamba to get his lick back. And he's already on the prowl for it. He does not want to go down twice to Rad in one day. That would be a devastating blow for someone like him. He was seeking to go very far in this tournament. So let's see what he can do right here. For sure. Zamba is still having to play a little bit with less control in the stage, but that's okay. Rob isn't a character that necessarily needs to be in the center stage all the time. He's comfortable pretty much everywhere, including the air and off stage as well. So Wrath, as long as he's able to keep the percentage differential in his favor, just gonna keep forcing out maybe these high recoveries. And we are seeing an attempt to try to track down Zamba in the upper blast zone. But that actually might come back to bite him because Samba is quick to uh, to turn things around and say, okay, if you feel like you can go that far up uh, to challenge me, then I will make you regret it. All right, Homing Attack gonna help get Rath back on the stage right there, but can it help you get back into the game? Fourth though, Rob is gonna send him off stage, and that gyro Whoa. messes up the recovery, but he's able to get past the roto arm. But how are you going to capitalize now that you have this extended lease on life, the up air into the neutral, I think classic Sonic Frame Trap. Yep. Not gonna get the stock. We got the stock at the back end, however. 116 on Rad, and we had the stock lead. Uh -oh. oh, and Just now like we have no lost tag. the stock lead. That down tilt, we've been talking about the down tilt ad nausea for the past two days, man. It's just so good, and every time it hits, this is your life now. Can't do anything right. about it. Right, and of course, uh, it was a tech situation. Wrath didn't take in time. And, you know, Zamba knows that he, even at higher percents, can rely on that down tilt. You know, it has a natural 20% chance to trip. And that's something that could play into these lower percent combos. But even at high percents, it's something that he's going to continue to use because it is a, is a tool with breadth. He's going to win for it, yeah. Up tilt not connecting right there. All right, so now Sonic's back on the stage. Zombie will kind of figure out a way to set up all the stuff without having Sonic run back in, because I feel like that's like the number one thing you have to worry about, right? A lot, I guess a lot of characters, when you're at that like half stage link away, the gyro shot, pretty free. If it, if they block it and it goes away, cool, whatever, you can't punish it for the most part. And then the laser, I'm gonna shoot it off pretty much whenever I want. But against this character in particular, both of those are kind of liable to get you messed up. Right, especially the range, because Wrath has enough a burst movement potential to rush down Zomba anytime he sees something used. Like, you see a gyro being launched. Wrath is already making a beeline for Zomba, trying to beat down Rob. However, you know, Zomba has some pretty good shield discipline in this game, and I'm wondering, now that the roll reads are being caught, uh, yeah, Wrath is teching these landings, but at what cost? Down, so Wrath came this like spin through center stage. I like the idea. The trees not possible in the meantime. 117 to 142. Back air is gonna get Zamba off stage. Now we're in prime position to get the second stock off. Zamba gonna stall as much time as possible, giving himself enough time to land, and he does so. Gyro online. Okay, another Nair center stage, and Zamba forces Wrath back out into the st uh, into the off stage. A good poke, it looked like, uh, as Zamba fails to push the shield up to avoid that. Good spacing from Wrath. Still good DI here to stay alive. A lighter character like Sonic living to 173 with almost full rage on Rob is something to uh, be proud of. Ooh, the rare Rob Nair kill. you love to see that. Yeah. Now, uh, check it off your bingo card if you have one. The back air, that is something we're accustomed to very, seeing uh, very often, rather. Okay, okay, nice catch up there with the spring up air. And now we are dead even under three minutes to go. We have the option to use the clock. We probably won't need the whole thing. But we're just going to go in there and do our damage right now. Zamba is currently on the offense. He's trying to get Wrath to find a bad landing. Not able to get anything. Don't entire away. Wow. 
I mean, yeah, you, you can see where Zomba is like trying to throw uh, the gyro to get Wrath to go for that up, like upward angled mobility through the platform uh, with Spin Dash. But of course, he doesn't get the punish, so he's setting up some of this stuff. He's just waiting for the payoff. I get carry on the laser right there, make sure Zomba doesn't get any free damage whatsoever. Also, put it in his head that if you want to shoot this laser randomly, I'm always ready for it. It's true, but Zomba also putting it in Wrath's head that he can just down tilt at these close ranges, and Wrath has to play a guessing game. Oh, good call on the whole shield right there. Jaro not going to do anything for Zomba right there. Wrath luckily got his shield in time. And how'd you get away from that up air? I have no idea, but now we're back down to the ground. 100 to 111 to 107 now. 4% difference between these two. Both of them looking for these prime kill options that you know they both have at their disposal. Back air came out, but neutral air was a bit quicker in that instance. And gotta be careful here. Shielding out the gyro, trying to oh, take it out, but out. of course. And it is gonna do it. Yeah, Zomba gonna be able to inch forward as he throws out that gyro. More shield pressure and get a jump out of Wrath. Perfectly timed. Okay, see, and this is how he was able to get that, that final interaction that he needed to win. As soon as Sonic hits your shield with Spin Dash, yeah. it is now almighty. He has to do something. He has to go somewhere. Yes. And as soon as Zamba confirmed that you're not going to do the immediate up B, mm -hmm. which Wrath probably isn't doing there because you still have to land and that just puts you at risk of death. Yeah. All right, you're right here. Awesome. Easy. That's all I need to know. Yeah, it doesn't have to go far to take the game and uh, put himself in a winning position. Zamba up game one means that Wrath has to work even harder in this last one to delay and kind of outplay as much as he can. Zamba still in the combo here. Rob is heavy, uh, heavy enough that these, this damage is going to be just a little bit drop in a bucket if you need to get this kill. Yeah, 60 is the new zero if you play heavy. That's the way I always like to put it. Like that, sure. that first 60, 70% really doesn't matter to them. It's all about the next 60 or 70%. Right. One interaction, that's great. But can you do two and three? Those are the ones that make a difference here. And Wrath, keeping his percent low, but uh, how quickly Zomba is able to uh, roll her up and do his thing. Gyro trying to find a way to not even punish homing attack on shield, but just trying to make Wrath uncomfortable enough where they don't feel the need to try to push their advantage off of it. Hiding behind the spring and uh, the gyro as well. I'm surprised Wrath isn't, uh, he's just trying to shield out the gyro. He's not actually trying to take control of it, which I find kind of interesting because a lot of players will try to do it, like try to use it themselves. I oh, Whoa! that was so freaky. The back air trade. Both the back airs overlap at the same time. That looked like it was absurd. That was very wild. But um, going back to what you were saying about the gyro. Yeah, yeah. If you shield gyro or parry gyro, it goes, goes away. Goes away, yeah, and that's so great. It is an alternative form of dealing with the item because of course sure. Rob to try to find a spot to throw it out again. But right. um, if you're if you have it, you have it. If you have the um, the ability to play with the items like that and use Rob's tool against them, cool. But there is another way to deal with it and take it off the field entirely. Sure, exactly. And it looks like Wrath is opting for that way. Uh, it just means that Zamba, with a lead, or at least enough of a lead, he can kind of use the gyro freely uh, until he hits the shield and then he just charges up the next one. All right, here we go. Clean little up air into the farther conversion. Instead of going for damage right there, Wrath going to go for these key stage control and the off stage situation. Oh, wow. Zamba with the old grab right there. Not even going to let him uh, charge up that spin dash. Didn't have any lasers. Wasn't able to get a conversion after that. So Zamba taking a couple of hits here and goes for a big up smash read, hoping that Wrath gets uh, a little bit too greedy. But instead, Wrath playing as patiently as one would expect. Yeah, he's one of the most patient players that we have in this scene. You have to be ready to play this kind of game whenever he sets up to the setup. And I know Zamba is ready for that because, again, they played earlier and he got the full brunt of it. Yeah. So this is not something that he's unprepared for. It's just a matter of beating it. And he is currently in the lead. Two stocks to 186. Good chunk of damage. But again, when you play this big body characters, I can shrug off 86. Right. Oh, Zamba fine. came back for revenge, it seems. Wrath looking for more, but... I mean, Zamba has had the disengage uh, ability uh, that has just helped him so much against Wrath. Wrath did not track him down at these higher uh, higher altitudes. Oh, there's the fall off of the platform. Immediate neutral air. Definitely not something Wrath was ready for. It caught him off guard. And Zamba was able to get a little bit of damage off it. Anti-air down, so oh my goodness. Rob, what can't the move do? 
I mean, everything. Uh, it feels like right now, Zamba is doing the best he can to uh, air dodge, stay alive. Wrath with 55% is hungry for something, but I mean, Zamba is going to keep him hungry. Not going to give him what he wants. Yeah, picking up the gyro, but he's not going to get anything off the toss right there. But we've got 60 cents on the stock, the tech on the spring. Now we have to get off the ledge. And if Wrath isn't able to capitalize right Ooh. here, which he's not able to, I was going to say that's gonna, it's going to be a tough way for this match to continue. High air dodge, but we're not going to get caught. Zamba just content with staying on the ground, catching the landing. I don't know how that edge guard didn't hit, but it doesn't matter. Zamba now taking full control and uh, is allowed to do whatever he wants, 173. I know that Wrath is just looking for one hit, but so is Zamba. Zamba is at that point himself. But the homing oh, attack, the so last nice. little hit of the homing attack, enough to force Zamba into the blast zone. I'm genuinely surprised that's still connected from the way out there. And the what? up air, the RNG up air, we're at the slot machine, man. Go ahead, pull the lever. Let's go gambling. Let's go gambling. Oh, dang it. All right. Zamba doing. His work, honestly, he's looking kind of unperturbed. I don't mind. You, 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 you I'm it, sorry, man. man. Like you can't blame me for being a boy. got like that. This is crazy. Bro, <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm like pulling up my thesaurus over here. Like, oh, he's he's gonna love this next one. But Zamba is very, very unbothered right now. This is someone you can see in their eyes. They are just not concerned at all with how this set is going right now. Because I feel like I have learned everything. Yeah, I mean, he definitely is like, okay, I figured this out. Like, I, I just do the same game plan, and we're all good. And yeah, there might be some uh, kind of strange things that Wrath is doing, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, he's having to do what's optimal, which is going to be predictable. Yep. I, even if you're, even if the game plan is good, if it's linear, I can build against it. And right I know now, it is. We are, we are seeing the faults in Wrath's game plan come out. Full effect, Zamba has been in complete control pretty much since the halfway point of game, game one. Yeah, game. it's true. I mean, as much as Wrath is trying to claw it back, it's a hugely uphill battle, and Zamba is making it harder every second. The projectile is just going to wear down Wrath's patience and his endurance. You know, Sonic loves to run downhills. He's not a big fan of running up, though. So this is definitely not somewhere he wants to be at all. But Zamba is going to try to keep him there for as long as possible, man. And, I mean, you just, yeah, have to wait for something here. We get a trip, or not a trip, that's, just a kind of on tech situation. And that yeah. was about to be devious. The down tilt, and then the immediate laser. Oh, option select. I see roll in, I grab. Right. If that leads to kill, that is so disheartening on the first Of course, because, you know, Rob has kill throws and is not worried about uh, using them when necessary. Zamba's still feeling confident enough to go for Nair. Uh, and just do whatever he wants. He's not He's not waiting for anything. He's just actually taking the liberty to throw out hitboxes and let Wrath run into them. Not even letting him hold the attack to the ledge of there. Zamba just all over him. He, you can tell this is someone who wants run back. They are hungry for the run back. And they are just letting them know, you got the one set. I hope you enjoyed the one set you got today, because you're not getting another one. Yes, Zamba is just cruel enough to be like, here, this is, uh, this is how I'm going to remind you that you never stood a chance in the first place. But Wrath is still in this. Here on the laser, you're not gonna get a punish there? What really? What kind of world do we live in anyway? Put okay. on the same pressure, try to scare Zomba off that platform, but this okay. should be a cooker from right here. Yes, spin charge into Forder, my beloved. Always comes through when I need it. Yeah, it's the old tried and true, old reliable coming in to help us out, but we get the roll in read on that platform. And look at that, Zomba is able to get some damage, but Wrath bursts right out of it. No disadvantage state for me. I'm going to take what I got. Big one on the roto arm incoming. I don't know if that was supposed to be rear versus Zomba or if he was trying to catch uh, Wrath getting impatient. But either way, we're right back to being even in damage right now. 0.5 separating these two, and the homing attack hits Gyro. The idea was great, but unfortunately, Zomba has shooters. Does. And he's keeping that in front of him for a reason. He's like, all right, again, it's the shiny toy. Don't you wanna don't you wanna hit this? And Wrath able to control it a little bit. We saw a grab on the gyro, not doing too much with it, but we do have an advantage state to speak of. Just gotta reset to neutral real quick and hope that maybe a haymaker's gonna help, but it's not. That was actually very good to not be like stuck in that situation, not be shaken by the max space board smash, knowing that you can still get the burst dash attack as a punish. Letting, letting Wrath know that even when you think you have a little bit of momentum, I'm still right here. That's right be able to jump and then go for a Nair. Zamba not letting Wrath kind of like take the liberties to get an out of shield option. Okay. Of course, like, yeah, you're in all that end lag. You're in the free fall. You land. Zamba's already charging the up smash. It's over. Yeah, homing attack. When you hit shield or you hit your opponent, you get to do whatever your heart desires. But if you hit nothing, oh boy, the entire arena is looking at you and just lining up everything they have. And I don't know if that shield poke would have looked like it could have. Zamba just 
Gonna get hit on the up smash. Not gonna drop the stock just yet, thankfully for him. 145 on him. Cannot guess that he has too much left to go at this point. Especially now that he's already off stage trying to find a way to mix up and recover it. Yeah, three minutes on the clock, but it doesn't mean that uh, Zamba is just gonna let Wrath kind of like try to uh, try to catch up with them. We could get one good kill option and then bring it to even, but there's still plenty of time left on the clock, and Zamba is not looking for that. He's just looking for more damage. Trying to mix him up with that spin dash, air dodge cancel back. Uh, Zamba not biting at anything currently. He's just putting out the hitboxes in the spaces that he wants Wrath to be at. And if I get my damage, cool. If I don't, it's probably safe anyway. I get to do it again in a different spot later. This is tough. Zamba just kind of throwing down the gyro. A little bit of insurance. Maybe he'll catch Wrath unawares off guard. He's so focused on Zamba that maybe he will forget that the gyro is there present in front of him. Okay, Roar back here is going to catch him jumping. And now, 45, 55, Ooh. not that bad, but you gotta get out of uh -oh. this Robo Vortex right here. Every character has one, you never would have expected. Rob has one of the most lethal in the game. Ooh. There's the mix up, the down air coming out, it hits shield, but it's oh, enough that. He chokes the laser, it just takes like 15. It's it for free. But he's able to recover, but can you get off the ledge? Zamba dropping this situation right there. Oh no. This, is, this has shades of winner's bracket. They both were able to make comebacks like this on each yes. other multiple times in that set. We might be seeing another one line up here. Out of shield is gonna catch Zamba and he waits for the option on the platform. Wow. We're just hacking on the damage right here, and you still have to put feet on ground. The platforms are safe for now, but they are not safe forever. Hey, again, the platform coverage is we grass. are damn near he's even. Doing so he's getting so close to the percents, but a quick nair hit, and now he's gonna have to work harder to get himself back to safety. He does, but Zamba is hard on the hunt. He's gonna look for something here. I don't know. Trying to avoid grab as much as possible. Doesn't want to be above Rob either. He just wants to be directly in front of him, not even behind him. You don't want to get timed out by a back air. The, the laser is going to shut down spin charge. I took so much damage. He's going to throw the gyro at him, see if it hits anything. It does not. Wrath is in the prime position to bring this game all the way back. And if you bring this game back, the flashbacks are going to kick up. Yes, they are. Which hilarious. I can do from the ground, and it is Zamba yeah. able to secure the 3 0 despite Wrath's best Bro, efforts. That win. third game. Oh, you think I didn't deserve that first set? Mm. It's closer than you think, buddy. It really is. It is closer than you think, but regardless, Zamba is able to clutch it out, bring it home. The Prince of New York stands tall yet again and uh, reminds us that, you know, it, it, things happen, but I can at least take the knowledge that I learned from the first set and put it to action in oh, the second. That was so close, too. He knew that he shouldn't have been up in the air and he does it down there out of the spin charge because he just doesn't want to be in the same airspace as Robot, as the Robot, right? Yeah. But you see how quickly it hits him? Yeah. Right at the very end, as soon as it looks like I might be actionable, that's like the last three or four frames of the down it's air, the man. It's the drift. It's the drift, too, because he's all the way up here when he starts, and he's all the way down here when he ends it. Yeah. And all he needs is one of those hits, and he will follow you with that hitbox to secure something here. Yeah, that's the problem with Rob, man. If the, the frame data, eh, projectiles, whatever. But the, just the amount of space he can control at 